realized I wasn't going to capture your blessing. But I realized also that sometimes that's what makes it precious. It uh, was there and now it's gone. Thanks. Um, so let's begin, I think, with introductions. Uh, Pepito is here to meet with us and uh, we are likely to have other folks join us or watch the video. So um, if you would just say your name, something about yourself, where you are, and um, we'll just go around the circle, uh, if you don't mind. Arnaldo, would you mind starting? Um, good evening, everybody. Um, Arnaldo Lopez, and I am Managing Director of Pregones Puerto Rican Traveling Theater. We're a New York City-based company um, with uh, venues in the South Bronx and in the theater district in Manhattan. Um, and uh, both of the companies uh, that make up our present uh, form, we are the outcome of a merger, were founded as uh, touring companies, traveling theaters, um, and have a deep rooted uh, affiliation with Caribbean aesthetics and with popular theater practices. So happy to be here in peer company. Fabian? <clears throat> Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Fabian. I'm here uh, in New Orleans uh, and I'm assisting uh, Open Channels with the translations, which it seems that it's, my services won't be needed tonight. Uh, but yeah, I'm almost always in the meetings. If I don't get mistaken, the, the time changes and things. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and you said you're in New Orleans, yeah. Yeah, I'm in New Orleans, yeah. Kelly? Hi, everyone. Um, turn on camera so you can see my face. My name is Kelly White. Um, I'm a director of fine and performing arts at a charter school here in the New Orleans area, um, servicing grade six to 12, but I also am a researcher, dancer, choreographer, performer of um, African diaspora dance styles, um, including um, not only Afro-Cuban, Afro-Haitian, but also Brazilian and West African. And um, my Western training is modern dance. And um, yeah, I'm happy to be here tonight. Thank you. Uh, my name is Matt Schwarzman. I am a theater artist and educator uh, also based in New Orleans. Um, and uh, I'm one of the founders of uh, Open Channels, along with Fatima Patterson, who's based in Santiago, who apologizes for not being able to be here tonight, to not meet you directly. But uh, today is the 30th anniversary celebration of her theater company. And uh, she, I told her that was more important. So, um, so she's there being feted and, and honored as uh, as a number of people are. So um, yeah, that's me, Nilo. Good afternoon to everyone. I am in Cusco, Peru. I am right now helping to develop the block of open channels. Also, another thing that I do is I'm trying to write something. Um, also, um, a cultural agent, and that's it, I think. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lowell, you're muted. Okay, the Lowell Fever. Right now, I'm in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Tomorrow, I will be in Vieques. The Puerto Rico, the after a, a ferry ride there tomorrow afternoon. The uh, uh, I'm generally speaking a theater critic and historian, but I also am the a mask maker, and most of my research focuses on the ritual theater and and popular culture. So the uh, I do lots of work with fiestas, carnivals popular performance. 
And there's someone else here whose name I cannot see. Who is it who's joined us? Yeah, it's Claudio. 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 Oh, Claudio. I can't see whose name it is. Please introduce yourself. Uh, uh, Fabian, could you help me? Claudio, the boy presentar. Claudio. I don't know if I don't know if it's listening okay. to us. He's not answering. Okay. Claudio está está ahí está con nosotros. Okay. Well, maybe if we uh, keep going, he'll join us and we can uh, bring him in. Pepito, could you introduce yourself? Sure. Um, I'm Pepito. My, I'm Jose Gutierrez. I go by Pepito. Um, um, uh, I have a background in design and uh, graphic design, interaction design, marketing. But right now I am uh, the communications director at Imagine in America. And briefly, Imagine in America, it's a consortium of about 70, around 70 higher education institutions here in the U.S. And our job is to foster, nurture, promote uh, public scholarship. That means that uh, universities engage with communities and especially uh, communities of uh, vulnerable communities through humanities, art and design. And um, and yeah, so and um, we are we are trying to make, build. I mean, I, I think they are already there. So we are strengthening our bridges between Imagine America and Open Channels here. Mm -hmm. And uh, sh should I say it briefly in Spanish for Claudio? Yes, would you please? I was just going to of course, ask. Of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, mi nombre es Jose Gutierrez, pero me gusta que me digan Pepiro. Uh, y así me conocen hasta mis hijas y mi suegra. <laughs> Uh, tengo, mi, yo soy diseñador gráfico, diseñador, diseñador de interacción, pero ahora soy el director de comunicaciones de Imagine, Imagine in America o Imaginando América, que es un consorcio de alrededor de 70 universidades e instituciones de educación superior en Estados Unidos. Y nuestro trabajo es fomentar el trabajo de las universidades hacia comunidades vulnerables, sobre todo a través de las humanidades, el arte y el diseño. Y ahora estoy aquí a través de una invitación de, de Matt eh, para como eh, eh, fortalecer el puente o la comunicación que ya que existe entre previamente entre Imagine in America y Open Channels o canales abiertos. Uh -huh. Great. Um, Claudio, are you there? Fabián. Claudio, estás con nosotros. Eh. Sí, sí, buenas noches. Estamos aquí, eh, siendo la cámara. Sí, eh, si sí, te puedes presentar. Sí, eh, lo hago. Lo que pasa es que no me visualizo, pero estamos aquí. Muy buenas noches, colegas. Eh, mi nombre es Claudio Rivera. Soy de Santo Domingo, República Dominicana. Y soy un hombre de teatro. Eh, comprometido con la creación y el diálogo de la, de la imagen escénica con mi realidad sociocultural desde hace más de 30 años con mi grupo Buloya. Impulsamos una visión de la dramaturgia y sobre todo estamos comprometidos a generar una cultura teatral viva. Tenemos una, un espacio, una pequeña sala de, de teatro independiente que animamos hace más de 14 años eh, y aquí estamos trabajando al pie del cañón. Nuestra vinculación con canales abiertos se da por una invitación de Vivian Martínez de Cuba, en donde nos propone acercarnos a este diálogo tan necesario sobre los procesos creativos, nuestros resultados escénicos, nuestras inquietudes como gente de teatro que busca dialogar con su tierra y crear vínculos sobre nuestras estrategias de creación y de resistencia. Y aquí estamos. Fabián. Ah, uh, Claudio, uh, sorry, Claudio is, <laughs> Claudio, Claudio is joining from the uh, from Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic. Uh, he's a theater man committed to work in theater uh, and uh, joined Open Channels after an invitation from Vivian Rodriguez. 
Is, is Pedro uh, Rodriguez, man? Uh, Tabares. Uh, oh, uh, the, from Cuba. Mm -hmm. uh, Vivian uh, Martinez de Cuba. Uh, oh, v Martinez. Vivian Martinez. Gracias, Claudio. Um, uh, so yeah, he has he's he has like a small independent theater group, and he he keeps doing theater, uh, researching and uh, looking for new ways to connect uh, theater to popular culture and to keep working uh, in theater and keeping the fight and resistance. And I should mention, Pepito, that uh, Claudio Lowell, uh, Fatima in, in Santiago, um, who I mentioned before, the four of us are the leaders. Uh, and the idea is that we are, we're, we're representing different hubs in, of our community. Um, and that's one of the things we'll be talking about tonight. Um, all right, excellent. Um, so let us go to the next part of our agenda. It's in the chat box. Uh, maybe uh, you could mention that to Fabian, uh, to uh, Claudio, if he hasn't seen that yet, Fabian. Claudio, en, el, en el, la cajita del chat está la agenda del programa de hoy. Eh, Iman nos está diciendo que vamos a pasar al próximo punto. So, um, and let's begin and just kind of go around the circle. And I'd like to just hear your reflections now that maybe this idea of shifting the agenda uh, on July 9th towards the roundtables. Um, now that it's had a chance to kind of settle in your mind, what, what, what are you thinking about? Are you excited? Are you concerned? Uh, what are you excited about? You know, um, just a, a, a minute or two of your thoughts that we could collect. I'd appreciate it. Um, sí, un, un, eh, basando, basa, basado en, la, en los ajustes que se le están haciendo al programa de, del 9 de julio próximo, eh, que nos tiene, si, que nos tiene emocionado, que nos llama la atención, uno o dos minutos sobre las reflexiones acerca de, de nuevo programa con la idea de ir, ir moviéndonos a, a las mesas redondas donde haya más participación. I thought maybe Kelly, you could answer the question first. And, you, you, and was I being clear what I'm asking? Um, yes. So I like the new structure because it gives everybody a chance to be able to experience and see the others mm -hmm. instead of us all going at one time in the breakout session, mm -hmm. um, which I understand due to time constraints and trying to figure out a correct, a better formula. Um, you know, you have to go through everything through trial and error, but it will allow at least us as the participants and presenters and along with the other groups as, as the people who are going to be participating in viewing the workshops, they'll be able to um, see more than one. They don't have to choose um, their top two or top one. They can, you know, have a variety and hop around. Good. Excellent. Fabian? Sí, a Kelly le, le, le gusta la nueva estructura porque da la posibilidad de, a, a los participantes de ir saltando uh, y, de, y de participar eh, en, diferentes, en, de, en diferentes espacios y ver la, las diferentes visiones de los, de los diferentes contribuyentes eh, y no como estaba diseñado antes, tener que seleccionar exactamente en el espacio que vas a estar. Eh, Kelly está contenta con eso. Thanks. Um, next, um, Nilo, would you mind? Um, would you share your thoughts about uh, the, the, the significance of the shift? How is it settling? Yeah. With you? <clears throat> yes, I just thought that it's going to help us, uh, let us, e let us know each other more. Mm -hmm. Que nos va a ayudar mucho a nosotros a conocernos más. Mm -hmm. And I think that is very important for the Caribbean region. Y creo que eso es muy importante para la región caribeña. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Arnaldo? I 
I like the prospect of this emphasis in providing additional depth of understanding what, for everything that we do mm -hmm. and how that information may be, you know, used, deployed uh, in support of our objectives. Entonces, me, me, me parece atractiva la idea de este énfasis porque puede producir más de ese capital eh, intelectual que nos ayuda a mm -hmm. entender lo que estamos haciendo y que esa, ese contenido se puede, se puede usar para otros propósitos. También estoy pensando en la sustentabilidad y, y el posible alcance que tenga en, en, ese, en ese área de los recursos. So, also thinking of uh, potential applications of that information towards uh, brand and fundraising communications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you explain what you mean by that last point, maybe a little more specific? Um, I feel that, you know, we, we already are a pretty remarkable entity as a network and uh, the, the level of the participants, you know, the, the professional level, the human quality, the artistic accomplishment, this is, you know, um, stand out. Uh, and I think that it is possible for the roundtables to help capture some of that, mm. you know, quality and energy, mm -hmm. and then for us to be able to share that. Got it. Purpose. We're already sitting on a ton of really Got valuable it. material, but we're still, you know, this is going to be an ongoing, I think, activity of, of harvesting from the information to share out in support mm -hmm. of what we do. Fabian, yeah, could you help? Okay. Yeah. Um, sí, lo, lo que está, lo, lo que I think está, it's an important, yeah. Sí, lo que estaba explicando Nardo es con, con el nuevo diseño va a ser un espacio de, de, de como um, cosechar más de, más de la calidad humana y de la calidad eh, cultural y creativa a la que estamos acostumbrados en, en pequeños grupos, pero tener que esta, es la, esta puede ser la oportunidad de tener una, una mayor cantidad de material acumulado a la hora entonces de presentarlo en diferentes foros eh, que, tienen, que pueden ayudar con el financiamiento y con la recaudación de los fondos. Eh, y en ese sentido era que Arnaldo lo estaba, estaba comentando, la importancia de, de tener esa, 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 esa multiplicidad de conexiones en, en ir creando una mayor... Eh, con un, con un, un mayor banco de datos para poder compartir con gente fuera de, de lo que Open Channel representa como, como rey, como proyecto. Uh, I want to just comment, I mean, that I just, uh, that was, seems very deep to me, Arnaldo, when, what you just said, uh, in that I got this image of a kind of uh, a blanket having been folded in time you know, which is kind of the simultaneity of the roundtables that it's been um, is kind of unfolding, you know, by making it sequential. You're kind of, um, I don't know what it's exactly to say, but it's like you're, you're kind of making it more, more transparent, more public, more richer, richer because people, the discussion will be populated by at least some people who have been to multiple uh, roundtables. Is that, yeah. Maybe Fabian. Sí, sí, that, yeah. sí. Ma, ma, uh, estaba usando eh, la metáfora de, de que un poco lo que habíamos venido haciendo con Open Channel y como está organizado es como una, una cubierta que es, es, se que se va doblando en el tiempo y ahora con esta eh, con las mesas redondas a, en, en, en manera secuencial es como ir abriendo esa 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 cubierta y, y entonces tenemos más gente eh, que comparte que pueda compartir los criterios porque van a estar participando en algunos de las de la gente van a estar participando en varias mesas redondas y es un poco esa es, es la apertura de lo que antes teníamos que era, eh, era como condensado en pequeños silos eh, y ahora se, se está expandiendo y, y va a tener más visibilidad. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Claudio, how about you, your reflections on the shift in the uh, July 9th agenda? Claudio, en tu caso, ¿cuáles son tus reflexiones acerca de estos cambios que tenemos en la agenda para el 9 de julio? Bueno, básicamente, para mí el tiempo virtual es un tiempo ficticio absolutamente. Eh, en términos de, de, de que el tiempo disponible para conocer las propuestas y la trayectoria de los compañeros siempre será insuficiente. Entonces, cualquier mecanismo para extender ese tiempo es bien recibido. Uh, so, so Claudio thinks like uh, virtual time is always kind of like a fiction for him in, in the sense that uh, yeah. it's all it's 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 never gonna be enough uh, time to get to know uh, the different uh, people and the different uh, the different people that you know join the 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 project and anything that we can do. Uh, trying to expand that, that amount of time that we have with each other, uh, he, he appreciates that, any action that we take in, in that sense. Great, excellent. Let me just insert a quick comment and then go okay. to Lowell. I think I, I think mm -hmm. Cloud is going to keep talking. Oh, he, sorry. He just, yeah, he just stopped for me to jump. Excellent, in. perfect. Claudio, ¿me puedes continuar? Mm -hmm. No, básicamente eso. Entonces, si podemos extender el, lo mayor posible el tiempo de visibilización de la obra y el discurso teatral de cada compañero, eso se agradece. Eh, esa es la, para mí el, la consigna. Eh, y la estructura de compartir videos con trabajos también es también didáctica. O sea, ese es mi parecer. Eso es lo, lo que tengo que aportar. Yeah, he's just thankful for this opportunity to expand the, the, the time that we are going to have to, to share with each other. Uh, always looking forward for that. And also, uh, like the importance of like sharing videos and uh, material to share with each other. Also, important. he thinks it's important. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Lowell, maybe do, do you want to comment on that as, as, as part of your reflection is, you know, uh, the featured videos aspect and, and where I know you have some thoughts about how that might still live in the new orientation. You're, you're, you're uh, muted. Still. Oh. Okay. The... So specifically about how we're going to work with the both recorded and live material. This particular format okay, has, has an advantage over the previous format. We can include both the, the, the previously recorded material, the featured videos that we, that we had previously as clips. Okay. So the, Esto tiene la ventaja de poder incluir que los videos que incluimos antes que como clips dentro de, de la mesa redonda, pero que también it gives us another advantage, and that is since many of us are going to be in Santiago, or we hope to be in Santiago, participating in creating and recording the live events there, the we can bring those new clips directly into the round tables. Entonces, que vamos a tener esta oportunidad también de traer cosas nuevas que están en proceso de creación que a la mesa redonda también. Entonces, que tanto en términos de exposición como de inclusión, que yo veo nada excepto que pues, ventajas in the nuevo formato. So in terms of both exposition and inclusion, I see nothing except advantages for the for for the new format because the the in the old format the one is the one it, a certain portion of the audience is automatically excluded. Okay? 
So, tiene esa noción de exclusión como parte de, del formato anterior. De nuevo formato, todo el mundo que quiere estar en cada mesa puede participar. So, everyone who wants to be in a, in a, in a, in, in, in a round table can participate in the round table. So, I mean, the, we're, we're, talking about, we're talking about a number of advantages here. Okay, yo veo solamente ventajas. Thanks, Lowell. Yeah. Um, I want to, I guess, uh, wrap up this part by adding my... Uh, Arnaldo, have you spoken? Or no, you've not spoken. Yes, you spoke? Okay. So, um, well, I mean, I think I agree with everything that folks have said. Um, I would add a couple of things. One is, I think it's going to be easier to produce as a, a, from a technological standpoint. Uh, there will be fewer cues. There will be simpler cues. Uh, there will be less simultaneity, but just less things going on. Um, much more one at a time kind of thing. And um, the cues will be spread out i mean so i think all those things are that will be good for in and of themselves um i also would like to think that this simplicity on one hand might enable us to might make it easier for us to add french as another language if we um, find the right people because we will also need to have fewer translators than we have in the past We we'll only need one roundtable's worth of translators now. So um, I don't know if I'm cloud castling, but you know I have spoken with Daphne in Haiti, and he is prepared. He feels very confident he can recruit nine or ten performance artists, you know, popular theater artists from Haiti, if we can provide translation. So I'm personally very excited about that, and would like to see if it's possible to find a way to, to, number one, find a translator who can do it for us uh, for little or no money, which is what we're, we have for this currently, um, or, and, sorry, um, to figure out the technology that would make this possible. Um, and without slowing down our meeting any more than translation already does. So, Um, I was actually, um, I'm throwing this out there not to talk about so much um, uh, now, but to, to, to pursue is even, you know, something I was thinking about today was the idea of having a WhatsApp channel where people who want to know, hear it in French could have a WhatsApp channel where that translation is occurring. Um, and we could still have Spanish and English be the dominant video, you know, Jitsi languages. Fabian, can you help me? Sí, eh, Matt, está, uh, Matt quería uh, referirse a do, dos o tres puntos importantes de, de las cosas que ve positivas acerca de los cambios que se han hecho al programa. Eh, uno de ellos es eh, que desde el punto de vista de la producción, eh, el nuevo formato facilita un poco la, el funcionamiento porque tenemos menos simultaneidad eh, todo secuencial eh, y desde el punto de vista de la tecnología que se necesita y, y, e incluso desde el punto de vista de la traducción eh, a la, de, a, desde el punto de vista de la producción todo es un poco más, facilita más la, la, la tarea que tenemos por delante eh, en ese, en ese sentido de la, de la simplicidad, eh, quizás Mark quiere pensar que es posible entonces incluir eh, traducción al francés, eh, porque de nuevo no se necesitan tantos traductores como en, la, en el formato anterior. Y Mark ha estado en conversación con Daphne en Haití, Daphne, eh, si, si, la, si la traducción, si somos capaces de proveer la traducción, Daphne puede reclutar eh, participantes de teatro popular de, de Haití que participen con nosotros, eh, pero sería necesario tener el, el espacio de la, la, y la posibilidad de la traducción a, a francés. Eh, Portuguese was mentioned as well, I would mention. Uh, ah, 
portugués también se, se ha mencionado como una posibilidad eh, de incluirla. Y lo último que Matt estaba comentando es la, quizás la posibilidad de crear un, un canal de WhatsApp donde, donde se esté eh, distribuyendo la información en los diferentes idiomas, eh, independientemente de, de, de lo que está sucediendo en, en, el, en el taller central, donde el español y el inglés sean lo, los idiomas dominantes. Pero tener quizás esa posibilidad eh, de, de tener un canal paralelo eh, de, donde se esté traduciendo a, a los otros idiomas. Thanks. Thanks, Fabián. Um, I'll mention also one more thing, I think. I think it's one more. Um, I spoke to Vijay Matthews from HowlRound this week and uh, checked in with him about this new format. And uh, he's excited about it like we are. Um, he's excited about it because we are. Um, he's just very supportive of, of, our, ev of our evolution. Fabian? Sí, Matt tuvo, tuvo un contacto con VJ Matthew de How Round uh, y él también está muy emocionado con el, el nuevo formato y de la forma en que se está, se está moviendo el, el, la preparación para el taller y, y que un poco esa situación también responde a, a, la, a la propia eh, motivación de, de nosotros como grupo. Uh, he is, uh ready to live stream uh, the entire session, the entire four and a half hours, like we have before. Um, he offered us the, he said, if we don't want to have it all live streamed, we don't have to. But I said, my feeling is, I think it enhances the uh, quality of, of the interaction for for people to at least imagine they're being watched. <laughs> eh, 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 él él se, se, se brindó para, para transmitir y, y, y tiene, tendría todo listo para transmitir en vivo la, la sesión completa. Eh, no, no es necesariamente, o sea, no... Eso no quiere decir que necesariamente nosotros digamos que sí, que queremos que, esa, eh, que toda la sesión se transmita en vivo, pero desde el punto de vista un poco desde el juego psicológico puede tener un impacto positivo en la gente pensando que, que los están viendo. Eh, y, pero bueno, la, la posibilidad está de, de hacer la transmisión en vivo de toda la sesión. I also, sorry, uh, yep. mm -hmm. I'm just curious to ask if we are Uh, 100% confident on the, you know, the capacity to transmit that signal live. So, um, we, what, what I did ask, I'm not going to answer your question directly yet. I'm going to answer, when I spoke with Vijay, I did ask him, because something that everybody should know, is that uh, Broderick is not going to be available to do the produ producing this year, this July. So we will be looking for someone else to do it. And given that our whole desire is to have the, 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 the center of production ha happen in the Caribbean, uh, we will be hoping to find someone in the Caribbean who is able to do that switching. Essentially, it's a, a production stage manager kind of role. Um, and I did ask Vijay about that. And he said that all we need for that is um, for that person is to have a, a hardwired, uh, you know, connection to a router and a 3000 KPS upload. So it should be relatively easy for to find that in a university level environment in the Caribbean. That's how Vijay put it. Um, and I think it's the same thing in, in Santiago with, uh, you know, always, you know, what happened last year with Jitsi, you know, so that it, it would know it would be, it's not going to be worse than last than previous years. It'll be the same. I guess that's one way to put it. <laughs> and uh, we, we will be able to bring some technology, I think, with us that might help. 
you know, I'm hoping and expecting to be there if it's at all possible. Nilo is hoping, you know, I'm Lowell and I are both hoping to help, you know, him make it. So, um, anyway, um, that's that's the, the thing. Fabian, do you want to catch? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Um, a, a Nardo, le, la Nardo estaba preguntando sobre el tema de, de, la, de la disponibilidad técnica para poder hacer la transmisión en vivo de, de todo el evento. Y Matt eh, comenzó diciéndole que, bueno, él no le iba a contestar directamente a la pregunta, eh, pero que la conversación que ha tenido con Bellé eh, eh, es posible a partir de, de las especificaciones técnicas que realmente no, no son tan, tan difíciles de, de alcanzar. Eh, y lo otro que más te estaba mencionando es que Broderick no, no va a poder producir el evento en, en julio eh, y la aspiración es encontrar a alguien del área del Caribe que sustituya a Broderick en el rol de, de productor general de, de, del evento eh, y que puede estar en Santiago. Y bueno, Matt, eh, va, si todo sale bien, Matt va a estar allá y va también va a tener la posibilidad de apoyar desde el punto de vista tecnológico, como se pueda. Eh, y desde el punto de vista de la... En, en, en el espacio en Santiago de Cuba no... No, de, no debiera ser más, no debiera ser peor el tema, el, el tema de la transmisión en vivo del evento de lo que ha sido en, en eventos anteriores. Eh, eh, no, 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 no va a haber una diferencia hacia lo peor. Entonces, la, la, la posibilidad. Todo pareciera ser que sí, que se va a poder hacer la transmisión en vivo sin problema. Thanks, thanks, Fabián. So, I, what I'd like to do is we have 15 minutes left. I'd like to use them efficiently. Um, what I'd like to do, I mean, I, I think this was personally, I think this was very valuable to hear from everybody. So I just appreciate that. Um, secondly, I would say, you know, we will begin taking action on some of these ideas and, and try to build um, some momentum, including a, a meta panel, you know, so there would be three different meta panelists, but they wouldn't be all together. We would use their their pieces as breaks, you know, at the end of each round table. So it would be round table opening and then round table one and then meta panelist one for five for 10 minutes. Round table two, then meta panelist two, round table three, meta panelist three and, and so on. So um, That's the idea, and then a closing. Uh, because we're not doing them simultaneously, there's really no re need for report backs. That would be totally redundant. So um, I think you know that that's what we're imagining, a very simple um, thing with, with some kind of closing that that is evocative of the collaborative nature of the project, like we had last year with that closing, that beautiful closing montage that Kelly and uh, Margarita Uh, did. And so something like that. Um, so simpler. I think that's that's just what we're trying to go for so that we can address some of these new ideas. Um, okay. I think that was that piece. Uh, I'd like to spend the last uh, 10 minutes, maybe we could even go over by a couple, um, to talk about resource development. Arnaldo and I have been talking about that. Uh, Arnaldo, can I Or maybe paste some of these statements that you were uh, working on. We've been working on together and talk about it with folks. This is what you were calling the elevator pitch. And the, maybe you could just say something about the importance of having it. Yes. Yeah. Um, so the idea in, in our recent dialogue with some potential partners, Um, we, I think, have, have felt the gentle pressure to focus on the highest priority ask on behalf of the network. Uh, so there's this idea of um, a 30-second pitch that allows us to articulate 
really important areas of activity that are natural uh, targets for investment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so this becomes uh, Fabian. Sí. Sí, eh, eh, Arnaldo se estaba refiriendo a, a, a partir de las conversaciones que hemos tenido en, en otros espacios, eh, de, de esas conversaciones ha surgido una especie de presión de la necesidad de tener diseñado un, una especie de, de discurso eh, que nos posicione eh, en, en los ejes de, de financiamiento que ya existen y concentrar eh, la, 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 los objetivos, concentrar los objetivos y alinearlos con esos ejes que ya existen de manera que nos permita posicionarnos mejor eh, a la hora de, de, pedir, de pedir financiamiento. And, and it's worth adding that um, the idea is that we, you know, we provide this draft language to everybody and then you know you adapt it to your own um comfort uh but but you hit the the same you know this we are we're all on the same page mm -hmm. about what we're asking mm -hmm. fabian si sí, y, y a partir de las diferentes ideas que que, que se aportan eh, Estar todos en la, en, la, en la misma página en términos de qué es lo que vamos a presentar a partir de, de la, del consenso a que podamos llegar. And let me just a, a, a little, uh, hey Kelly, um, so we're hey, talking sorry. about, no problem, welcome back. We're talking resource development and just, we're, this is the elevator speech, uh, elevator pitch that Arnaldo uh, has been working on with me and I think part of the idea of us sharing it with everybody is to give you all a tool that you can use in your own environments for potential resource development uh, for open channels, including your own participation in open channels. Um, we realize that each of you may have resource uh, access to resources that if we can give you the language, you might be able to access yourself as well as um bringing pot potentially bringing to the table connections that you have that might benefit the project as a whole um clearly this is not going to be a a one strategy kind of issue you know approach we need to try lots of different things fabian si sí, la, la 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 muestra que más eh, puso en la en el chat eh, está está pensada en, en brindar una especie de, digamos, de guía que, que podamos utilizar eh, para, para, para todos compartir el mismo lenguaje y poder presentarlo en diferentes espacios. Muchos de los que participan en Open Channel tienen acceso a, a diferentes espacios y, y lo, la idea es tener como una especie de, de, de plantilla de qué es lo que podemos de, de lenguaje que podemos utilizar para eh, gestionar recursos eh, desde, desde las conexiones personales y que probablemente en, en el futuro pueda favorecer el, el proyecto eh, de Open Channels eh, en general, pero partir desde la desde la desde el beneficio de uh, del beneficio personal dentro de, de, de Open Channel. Uh -huh. Y el, lo que está proveyendo más es una especie de, ya, ya decía, una especie de plantilla que quizás podamos utilizar en diferentes espacios para acceder a, a los recursos. Y que de, no obstante, no es, la idea no es eh, una estrategia única que satisfaga todas las diferentes eh, necesidades, pero eh, es... Un, un punto de inicio para para comenzar a trabajar en ese sentido. Mm -hmm. And I think specifically in that context of of where we are looking, you know, at partnerships with higher education as a as a potential um, environment for us to, to to work with. And Pepito are, are, are reaching out to Imagining America is of course is our first step. You you were the first folks 
that we thought of. Uh, many of us around this table or, 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 or the Open Channels table are also associated with universities uh, as well. So that was the idea, Arnaldo, right behind this more specific uh, statement about our interest in partnerships with higher education. Yeah. Yes, I, I quite frankly think that we're already enmeshed uh, in relationships of value mm -hmm. and that we could align them to our, you know, to our, to everyone's benefit. Mm -hmm. um, I also think that, um, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to have uh, Pepito join from Imagining America, and I think that there is some congruence uh, in this idea. Um, uh, open channels, in many ways, is, you know, the the university in the streets, you know, there's, there's some of that energy. Um, and we really are looking to especially during the first, you know, these first few years are still going to be formative. We don't have, we're going to be making decisions about infrastructure and then trying to build it. It's not prefab. So during these years in particular, um, I think uh, these, these relationships make sense. And I venture to say that the current push for diversity, equity, inclusion, and access are, are, are things that we've been thinking from day one and that mm -hmm. the membership here has, you know, t tons of knowledge and experience uh, with. So, so it's just a matter of uh, making it known. How many folks on this call actually are, are, I mean, Claudio, you have, you teach at the university level. Is that, is that correct? Claudio, tú, tú en, enseñas a, a, a nivel universitario, ¿correcto? Sí, es correcto. En la Universidad del Estado, la, la UAS se llama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the state, state level university. Mm -hmm. And Lowell? Yes. <laughs> ya, ya, ya yo no enseño. Todavía tengo un par de candidatos doctorales que están trabajando conmigo. But I'm not, I'm not teaching any longer. Right. But I do, I do, I do maintain the, the contact with the, particularly the, the, uh, the, the, the program and cultural agency. So the, uh, mm -hmm. at the uh, University of Puerto Rico. At the University of Puerto Rico. So the. And we have uh, University of West Indies at Michelle, right? That's yeah, where yep, Michelle yep. is. And um, the university uh, in Cuba that that, Macuba, that uh, Fatima teaches at. Um, I don't know the name of it. Fabian, do you? Um, no. In Santiago, uh, on the hill. It, 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 it's in Santiago where yeah. she did this? No, it, 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 no? It, it, it's, it's, just, it's just outside mm. Santiago. No. Uh, algo como que la Universidad del Este de... de, 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 de sí, del Este. Hey, Kelly, you do workshops at universities and, and residencies and things, yes? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I, so would you agree, Kelly? I mean, just as the last person I'm asking that, that partnering with higher education makes sense for, for you as well as a, as a practicing artist. Yes, it does. Um, yeah. I, I've been in and out of the conversation because of um, Wi-Fi while I'm driving, mm -hmm. but um, I think I get the gist of it. And yes, it does. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I you know, Pepito, I think, um, hello, you have a guest. Hey. hey, welcome. You're talking to the, the world right here. The entire world is on this call. Yeah, she's, she's getting ready for karate. Oh, ah, wow. okay. Awesome. <laughs> Have a good time. Okay. Tell me las questions. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Mucho gusto. Adios. <laughs> So, um, Pepita, you, I know, you know, I have not spoken in length with these folks about May 18th yet. So maybe you, you could share with them about the, the, uh, the, the collaborative learning group session. Sure. <clears throat> so part of uh, what we do at Imagine in America, so we have a lot of initiatives and programs for the general public. 
but we try also to focus on resources for our members. And one of these resources for our members is something we call the teaching and learning circle. And um, these are small round tables where experts in certain um, and not and topics gather together and share their knowledge and resources to our members. In um, Imagine America, tenemos muchos iniciativas y programas dirigidas al público general pero también tenemos algunos eh, programas que son exclusivos para nuestros miembros. Y uno de estos programas es, se llama el TLC o Teaching and Learning Circle, um, enseñando y aprendi círculos de enseñanza y, ap y, y aprendizaje. ¿no? Esa sería la, la traducción. Um, y and this, this TLC, so Teaching and Learning Circles, happens every, every month or every two months. And we are planning to have open channels as our following guests for our May uh, TLC for you guys to take the stage and share with our community how you collaborate, how you foster, uh, how you support the work each other, the tools, techniques you use, and so on. Um, and, and próximamente en mayo tendremos otro uh, ¿Cómo dije? Eh, 18. Eh, 18, 19. I, I, I yeah. forgot at this time, but, uh, yeah, 18. but uh, tendremos otro círculo de enseñando y aprendiendo, aprendiendo Teaching and Learning Circle, en mayo. And, y canales abiertos serán como tomarán el, 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 el escenario. O sea, ustedes van a ser los que dirigirán y van a, van a, a discutir o van a compartir con nuestros miembros eh, lo, lo que ustedes hacen, el trabajo que ustedes hacen, cómo lo hacen y de qué manera fomentan y, so, y soportan el trabajo mutuamente que ustedes hacen eh, en cuanto a, a performing arts, a, about eh, trabajo de, de arte teatral ayudando a causas sociales, about performing arts, supporting social, eh, social work, social justice. And this is still on the planning, so we are in contact with Matt, so more details to come. And part of me being here is to motivate, encourage more of you guys to to, to be part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everyone, you. everyone on this call, I would love it. This would be a great team, a great team. Cusco, you're hearing this, right, Cusco? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> <You're> good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Pepito. I think uh, two minutes over is not too bad. Um, thank you, everyone. Uh, Fabiana, as always, and, um, and everyone for a great session. Always enjoyable. And uh, we'll talk again, I'm, soon, I'm sure, all of us very soon. Great. Okay. Good to see everyone. Okay. Good to see you. Okay. Un placer. A pleasure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye, everybody. Take care. Cuídense mucho. Felicidades a Macuba en sus 30 años. So, so okay. that it's on record. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Sí. There you go. Okay. Hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Matt, you have, you, have, you have to make sure that we have more, more female voices in these meetings. No. I know. I know Kelly's 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 here with us, but the I mean we need Michelle and Linda and Lisa I did my Dutch best. I did my and best. And this has never Margarita. happened before. This had okay. never happened before. So the uh, so you're right though. I hope it's not a trend. My God. Okay. okay. Right. Well, well, you take it. And sorry, I'm not going to be with you tomorrow. But the uh, okay. Uh, but we'll be. We'll, We'll see each other soon. So take care. Okay. Right. Good day. Good night, sir. Okay. One at night. Okay.